Well, that was the very dramatic opening to Bergmuller's Ballad, which is number 15 from his Opus 100 Etudes, and that is the subject of this video. Now, a ballad originated from poetry, and romantic poets in particular were very fond of writing ballads. It's an epic tale, really, told through a poem of um, probably love and life and battles and mysteries and things. And like a lot of poetry, literature, art, it transferred itself over into music as well. Now the piano was the instrument that it found a really, really happy home on, the idea of a ballad. And of course Chopin wrote some very famous ballads, for example, here's the start of his Opus 23. is a story and I think when you're ha uh, working with your students to take it to the performance level which is where we're looking at with this you want to really engage their imagination and their storytelling capacity. I'm going to give you three ideas they are mutually uh, compatible you can use all of them or you can use one of them whichever works. The first place I always go to with this ballad is I go to a poem actually by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's called Windy Nights. And I'll just read you the first verse. And it says, whenever the moon and stars are set, whenever the wind is high, all night long in the dark and wet, a man goes riding by. Late in the night when the fires are out, why does he gallop and gallop about? So this idea of the galloping, I'm sure your students would be able to hear in this opening. Then of course you've got the melody, if for want of a better word, in the, coming in in the left hand. Here's the opening. Yeah, wonderful sense of tension and drama already there. It's something to do with the C minor feel. It's something to do with that restlessness of the to play that is another matter but we're not going down there today as I say I'm assuming your students have already got their fingers around the vast majority of the notes here and because it's a tale because it's a, a story the piece goes on and it develops different ideas after that first one it, it opens up into these and then it has this wonderful descending C minor arpeggio um, how a uh, broken triad even section B section in the tonic major and of course that has a sweeter sound to it that's actually marked dolce so your student needs to come up with a new idea for that we've had the drama we've had the horseman riding by and galloping galloping and then what happens does the horseman stop for a while to, to go to sleep does he sit and watch the silvery moon they will come up with stories very very easily if you allow them to and then, of course, the drama returns. Um, and just listen to this bit. And there's that unison that we just found in the Chopin. And actually the bit I started with. Which is technically the hardest bit of the whole piece, that bit, isn't it? Um, so the, the A section comes back. We're back to the horseman. And galloping again. So using poetry or a story, getting your students to come up with a story is a really, really useful way of helping them forget about the difficulty of the notes and just go beyond. Because often if you can project to the story, the notes will look after themselves if they've been well rehearsed and um, learnt generally. Another thing you can do to spark their imagination is to use words, mood words, words that will sum up what the piece is about. 
Now we have these mood cards in our January 2022 curiosity box, I think. And I love using these with students and I give them a, a, a whole variety, put it on top of the piano or somewhere so that they can pick out um, the words that, that they think might work. So for example, we've got things like nervous. Let me see if I can get them there to you. They are nervous, um, scared, yeah, um, or, or cheerful. It, it, it's good in a way not to be too prescriptive about it. It's not your idea, it's getting them to think about it. They might hear this and hear something very different. That's fine. Maybe they will hear that it's determined, because it could be that as well. Um, and maybe you give them some blank cards and they write down their own words, edgy, for example, or tense, or even mysterious. Okay. So getting those words, getting them to write them down, maybe they even go and draw, draw a picture. It depends on the students. Some love reading, some love writing, some love drawing. Most of them love watching Disney films. And I was just looking for something that they would really relate to. And I found um, the, the, the sort of the fight between Gaston and the Beast in Beauty from the Be Beauty and the Beast, and the f it, it is really quite filmic. This it could work this ballad as a film score, and it fits. I think the Beauty and the Beast at the very end, and if you haven't watched it, then do do go and watch it. But Gaston and the Beast are on on the roof, and it's pouring with rain. It's windy, you know, um, lots and lots of drama, and they have a big fight. absolutely um, hits the, the beast who is slightly reluctant to fight because I think um, he, he doesn't think that the that bell loves him any longer so here are, here are the uh, here are the fight bits going on yeah, wow wow that kind of thing and then of course in the, in the film what happens is um, bell appears. And maybe this is this sweet moment in the middle when Belle appears and the mood change and Beast sees he has something still to, to, to live for. I think that, that fits really, really beautifully. And then, of course, Gaston kind of gets a second wind and, and the Beast realises, yes, I have to fight for Belle. Maybe they can think of another film or maybe you just get them to create a film scene for themselves that they can fit this around. So we had poetry, Robert Louis Stevenson, lots of others out there I'm sure, the use of mood words and mood cards to gen generate some, uh, some feelings and connection to the piece and then connecting it to something they might know, a story they might know, for example Beauty and the Beast. I hope that's given you lots of ideas for how to use this wonderful piece of music that your students will adore um, and how to help them to bring it to life. Here it is all the way through. Picture what you like as I play.